This is a smart pet feeder, and this is what we're testing out today. Right, Dallas? You're standing in my shot. Can you scoot? Can you, can you scoot? Can, uh, 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 thank you. First, let's meet the dog's mom, Rila Neely. He's our seven-year-old um, pug who likes to eat. Rila's curious about our online purchase, so we set it up, download the app called Pet Fun, but can't get the feeder paired with the phone with the Wi-Fi. Look. <laughs> oh no, I know it's time to eat, I know. Poor fella, still waiting as we finally get the smart device connected. Rila loads the feeder, and you know who is ready for some food. Manual, two portions, done. We use the manual method, but you can set a timer for feeding a few times a day. Next, we step outside to really give it a test. He going right to it. We're using the camera. You can snap pictures, shoot video, or just watch. Finally, he gets food. And he's you going know, to town, isn't he? He is. He was hungry. We're most entertained by another feature, a microphone and speaker. Dallas. 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 <laughs> Hi, Dallas. Is your food good? The smart pet feeder isn't cheap. It'll cost you 150 bucks. It would be worth it if it's connected. It seems like our biggest problem was when it wants to connect. So Dallas goes back to old school feedings, and that's cool. He's quite happy living the pug life.